Hello and welcome to the Ambiscience 300 tutorial. In this tutorial we'll quickly go over some of the features in this very comprehensive sleep and relaxation app. If you're a current user and you're interested in operating the new intervals feature, go ahead and skip over to video time sequence of 717. Alright, let's go and launch the product. Here we have the main page of 300. In the top left corner we have the iTunes import button which allows you to add music from your iTunes library to 300. On the right side, we have the info button, which gives you a small overview of the main page interface. Below that, we have the alarm button, which takes you to the alarm page and allows you to set alarms and includes an app quit function as well. We have the E button in the center, which is for the entrainment or brainwave effects page and the preset button which takes you obviously to the presets page where you can create your own custom music creations. Below that we have a volume slider, we have the play button, stop button, pause button, and the countdown timer. The countdown timer allows you to specify an end time for your music session and includes an app quit function as well. On the main page we have the uh, scroll wheel which lists all the available melodies in the 300 app all which are looped seamlessly. The PL indicates that this sound loop is also available in our preset sound library located on our presets page and this allows you for additional creative possibilities. And finally at the bottom a share button to tell your friends about 300. So let's get started. Alright so we'll add some music. So we'll go to the top of the wheel here and we'll add a track called Through the Gate. Go ahead and press play. Alright now I'm going to decrease the volume down to 25% for this video so I can talk over the uh, music. Now, at this point, we might be done. This might be all you need to get the relaxation you need or the sleep that you need. An optional item that you can do or add is to add some entrainment. So let's go over to the uh, entrainment section, press the E button. Okay, now once on this page, now I'm gonna actually go back and, and lower this volume down to zero so I can uh, speak a little more effectively. Now once we get to this page, you'll notice that each one of the effects has an either has either an HP slash SPK or an HP behind um, the listing. The HP SPK means that this track is compatible with headphones or speakers. The HP selection means that this uh, listing is compatible with just headphones. Now, if you're going to listen to headphones only, it doesn't matter what kind of headphones you have, earbuds or standard headphones will work fine. However, if you're going to listen to speakers, you need to have a 2.1 or above speaker system to effectively hear the beats and tones. And uh, we must note that if you plan on using the iDevice speaker, this is not adequate enough for listening to our beats and tones. It doesn't matter whether you have an iPod, an iPad, or an iPhone. So, if you're going to listen to speakers, it is highly recommended that you use 2.1 speakers. Alright, so now we want to go ahead and start an entrainment. Now, by the way, if you uh, would like to know exactly what entrainment effects are, go ahead and tap here for detailed instructions. And it will give you uh, some background on the binaurals and the isochronics and what they do and what they are. Okay. So let's go ahead and play an entrainment. All right, there we go. So we'll start the entrainment. And right now we have it at 50%. Now the ideal situation is to have a five to one ratio in relationship to the music to the brain waves. So if your music is at say a 25% volume, your entrainment should be about 5%. So I'm gonna drop this all the way down to 5%. Okay, uh, get it right on there. All right, now we're going to go back to the main page and put this at 25. So the idea here is to hear the beats or tones just behind the music. It should be subtle enough and not overpower the music. Now in the past we recommended a 2 to 1 ratio for users, but we found this to be way, power way too powerful for most. But the idea here is to experiment and find what works best for you and your situation. Now, this might be... Um, the ideal situation for our session. We're done here. So we have our music, we have our entrainment. Now we can go one step further and set up a preset. That way when we come back to the app, our music, our entrainment is already preset for us and we can just hit play. Load the preset, hit play, and then we're done. So 
So let's go ahead and go through that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the music here. Go back to our entrainment. Stop the entrainment there. So we'll go back to the home page here and we'll tap on the presets button. Now the presets section allows the uh, user full control and uh, customization of all the material in the app, which is over 300 sounds, music, and brainwaves. And it's very simple to uh, create a preset. So we're going to go and select a track, and I'm going to select Man of Mind, and I'm going to select an effect. We're going to use the Power Nap. Okay, and now I'm going to select a sound loop, and we're going to find the rain here. Scroll down to rain. Okay, and now I'm going to leave the fourth spot blank. Now, I'm demonstrating that you don't have to have all the blanks full. You can uh, have just music and entrainment, or music and a sound loop, or just entrainment. It's, it's really up to you. Now, via our previous example, setting up a session with just music and the effect, it's carried over the volume controls from the, um, the previous settings. So the music and the effect are exactly where we want it. And then we'll go ahead and just set up the rain loop. So we'll drop that down to right about there. And since we're not using anything in the uh, fourth, uh, the fourth selection here, we're going to drop that down to zero. And go ahead and hit play. All right. So you can hear that sounds pretty good. Now let's say we want to go ahead and save this preset. We're going to hit save preset, and then we're going to give it a name call this man man of mind one okay hit okay now our preset is saved now we can go a step further and we can add intervals okay so intervals is a new feature we've recently added to give your creations additional that additional creativity and randomness so you'll literally have millions of possible creations with this new tool to use intervals, tap on the interval button. Once on the page, you can scroll through all the sound bites that we offer. You can preview an interval by just tapping on the preview button. So let's go ahead and tap on this. And you can hear the owl in the background. And to stop the preview, just go ahead and tap on preview again. Now note, there are, 100, there are over 190 sound intervals listed here that the iDevice is working with. So it's important, as it states up here, not to preview more than one sound at a time. And refrain from scroll, excuse me, scrolling while listening to previews, since this might cause the app to quit. So we're gonna, we're gonna scroll down to the thunder, which is under weather. Scroll all the way down there. So you can see there's quite a few sounds. All the way down to weather, and I'm going to hit go ahead and preview thunder number one. That sounds pretty good. I'm going to drop the volume just a little bit, and we'll go ahead and preview it again. I like that right there, and we'll go ahead and set up a time interval as well. So I'm thinking every 16 seconds might work well. Once I've got it where I want, I'll go ahead and turn the thunder on, and then I'll hit play all. And we'll go ahead and that'll put it into our current session. Now, when I'm ready to save this preset, I'll go back to the previous page. Uh, if I want to reset all these settings, I can hit reset. That'll take me all back to the defaults. I can hit stop all to uh, stop the thunder here. Now, if I wanted to add an additional piece, an additional interval, I can turn on another thunder. I'll turn on that one and I'll adjust it for 20 seconds. Maybe a little quieter. I'll hit preview. All right, that's what I'm looking for. So once I turn this one on, I have to hit play all again to initiate all the changes. So we'll hit play all. Now I'm gonna save these uh, two additional intervals into my preset, my existing preset. So we'll go back and then I'll just hit save preset again. And we'll just write it over, right, we'll just write over the, uh, the original one. And of Okay, Man of Mine is overwritten. All right, you don't necessarily have to build 
your preset the way I've done here. You could build everything in one instance. The music, the sounds, the brain waves, the intervals. I've done it this way to demonstrate that you can add additional information to an existing preset. And you can come back to your creation anytime in the future by just loading a preset. To load a preset, you're just going to tap here and click on Man of Mine and hit Done. Hit Load and play it. And that's it. Thanks for watching our tutorial. We hope you've enjoyed using our product. If you do, give us a like on Facebook. We'd appreciate it. It helps out our tiny company. There's a link available on our website to do so. And also a listing of all of our other products at www.teslasoftware.com. We have additional apps on meditation, healing, pain, depression, and concentration. Enjoy!